the 61st episode of Real Russia we have been inside of big supermarket in Ufa, the capital of Bashkortostan, Republic of Russia. And there we checked the prices for different products for you to compare them with the prices in your countries and your cities. It's comfortable to make shopping in the big supermarkets if you plan big shopping and if you have a car under your ass that not to carry a weighty bags. But what if you don't have a car and don't have a big supermarket? near you. People in Russia then go to the closest stores right to where they live. Same about us. Right now we go to one of the closest stores here in Moscow, not far from Dmitrovskaya metro station at Rustaveli street where we live now. That is Dixie, one of Russia's largest retailers for food and everyday products. They have almost 200 stores here in Moscow. And you know, the first thing that we have to notice about this store, about Dixie, is that they have the real disclosure policy regarding filming. And in every store, on the street door of their stores, they have a label with a friendly image of the photo camera. It says, you can film here. So we film here and now getting inside. My name is Sergey Baklikov and the rec button on this camera pushing Sergey Grom. Say hi, man. Всем привет. The first thing that we can see here when we enter the store is the security boxes. Here you can leave your bags. I think that here at least two reasons for this. The first reason is that to make your hands free so uh, you can take uh, the basket and comfortably run this. And the second reason is that to avoid any misunderstandings with the security guards. The small handy baskets and their bigger baskets on the wheels. So let's take one of them and make shopping right now together. The first thing I can see is the fruits here. We like bananas, $1.50 per kilogram. And this is the first thing that will go into our basket. Mandarinas, they have the same price, it's $1.50. It goes to the basket. And apples, they cost two dollars per kilogram. Cabbage, it's uh, just uh, about 60 cents. Onion is about 90 cents. And the potato, 80 cents per kilogram. Cucumbers, four, four dollars per kilogram. The sunflower oil, it is about uh, two dollars per liter. What about the eggs? 10 eggs in the packs like this, $1.50. Apple juice costs two American dollars. The next thing that is popular around Russians is the lack of the kitchen. It costs almost five American dollars per kilogram. The famous Russian pickles. These cucumbers in a salt sauce is uh, a little more than $3 for this jar. And tomatoes, almost two dollars for this jar. And now here, really important thing for all of us. This is the toilet paper. The price for this vary from 10 American cents, just 10 cents, to almost, uh, to almost two dollars for this one. You know, Russians like chips, so the big pack of Lace Max cost here almost two dollars. The pack of Pringles, four dollars, and we will take one, right? Let's take it and let's take popcorn, cost one dollar and fifty cents. What about sugar? One dollar and fifty cents per this pack. This is a really Russian thing, pelmeni, and the price for them really vary a lot. It's vary about from four dollars per one kilogram to twenty dollars per kilogram. What about tea and coffee? Then I can say that this standard uh, jar of Nescafe Classic cost eight American dollars. And what about tea? Let's say this Ahmad tea cost uh, about seven American dollars. Here is one hundred tea bags. The loaf of bread vary from one dollar to two dollars in average. Let's take one. 
Now it's a fish department. A bag of Kaplan for two dollars. That's what Sergey Grom likes. I don't like fish, you know. I better, I better will eat some of mayonnaise. 67 percent mayonnaise, 750 grams. Milli, mil, milliliters cost two dollars. Different kinds of sausages and their price vary from three American dollars to 15. Let's take these sausages. Here is 350 grams and we are uh, buying this for three dollars. When we eat something, we really like to eat it with the ketchup. So let's take a look. Heinz ketchup costs about one dollar and fifty cents. So let's take one. Prices for the milk vary from one dollar to two dollars per one liter pack. We usually buy here the milk that called 36 kopecks. You know, this is actually a very old Soviet Union brand and this pack still looks like the pack from the Soviet Union times. Let's take it. Finally, in the end of the store, we are getting closer to the household goods departments. Here we can see things like the glue, like the bags for the garbage, like the cleaning cream for the shoes, like uh, washing powder. For example, this three kilogram pack of Tide costs seven, seven American dollars. But we'll take Persil, Persil for almost two dollars for washing in our automatic washing machine. The brush for the tooth, paste for the tooth, foam for the shaving, a food for an animals, mostly for the cats and for the dogs. So, and that's how we came to the cashier. Almost in all stores in Moscow and in Dixie as, as well, you can pay as by cash, as by bank cards like Visa, uh, Maestro, Mastercard, Спасибо. We've got a final check, 1,200 rubles. This is about 35 American dollars. Sergey Baklikov, there's Sergey Grom. Keep watching and don't forget to comment, like and subscribe.